It's pretty amazing to think about how far we've come in terms of science. Gone are the days when tropes and science fiction remained in the books. Because every day there's something amazing happening in the world of science. Things that you would only think could occur in stories and movies are happening as we speak. One of those things happens to be cloning and bringing back animals that were once thought to be extinct. The ibex is a wild mountain goat found in Europe, parts of Asia, and northeastern Africa. Just decades ago, people only believed that when animals went extinct, they would be extinct forever. Well, not anymore, because today we bring to you 15 extinct animals being brought back to life. <laughs> Woolly Mammoth It's a creature you see in almost every dinosaur movie. They're furry, and they're covered in hair. They almost look like Snuffleupagus, or maybe Snuffleupaguses look like them. We're pretty sure it's probably that way. In any case, we're talking about the giant elephant-looking dinosaurs called Woolly Mammoths. They went extinct a very long time ago, and since then people have always wondered just what it would be like if they roamed the Earth again. Well, you might not have to wonder as much as you think because scientists are on the verge of bringing it back to life. You heard us correctly. This is a case of when extinct animals are being brought back to life, because take a look down below. This mammoth is 40,000 years old and one of the best preserved specimens ever found. It was found by a Siberian hunter and his two children in 2007. It's honestly shocking just to see a picture of a woolly mammoth like this. It kind of looks like an elephant, but we all know that it's not. Can you guess how much it's going to cost to bring this woolly mammoth back to life? It's going to cost a whopping $15 million. First, they have to do an elephant-mammoth hybrid to get it off the ground. But after that, we could have a woolly mammoth walking down New York City. Okay, maybe not New York City, but you get the idea. Science never fails us in bringing out the crazy science fiction tropes that we never thought could happen. Woolly Rhinoceros Something is interesting about animals that are labeled woolly. Maybe it's because they're cute. Maybe it's because they seem harmless on the surface. It's the reason why a lot of people like elephants. They appear like friendly, docile creatures that you can get along with. And that's the vibe that woolly mammoths give off. Except they almost kind of look like stuffed animals. The fun part about this is that there isn't just one woolly animal out there. You probably only think of the woolly mammoth as we mentioned before, but on the contrary, there's more than one, because there's also a woolly rhinoceros, and of course they're going to try to bring it back to life. We're here for it, and we want to tell you all about it. This species went extinct because of warmth and climate. This is according to a genetic analysis of the remnants of 14 woolly rhinos. They were probably killed off around 14,000 years ago. Up until that extinction, the numbers of rhinos pretty much stay the same. The leftovers of needed animals are now found in northeastern Siberia. As scientists consider the graveyard for the now extinct species, we're just happy that someone found them. Cave Lion Let's face it, when we mention the world's toughest animal, you probably think about lions. And that's okay, because they're the king of the jungle. There aren't any fiercer animals than them. You lock eyes with one of them and you can probably count how many seconds you have left until breathing stops. Sure, there are dangerous animals like tigers, bears, and even bald eagles. And of course, there are those animals that used to be around which could have been fearful competitors to the lion. Just imagine walking into a cave and seeing a lion sitting there. You might even call it a cave lion. Well, that's exactly the name of this next one on our list. This is probably not the type of cave you want to be walking into. As you can tell, these pictures make it look as though these cave lions were once alive yesterday. They're just so perfectly preserved and because of this, scientists have uncovered some cool secrets about these lions. The siblings that were found were probably born around 44,000 years ago. They were only found 10 meters apart in Yakusha. Scientists believe that they starved to death, which makes the story tremendously sad. If scientists can bring these back to life, we know that they'll be well fed. That's the good part about the story. Dodo if you've watched our other videos where we've mentioned prehistoric beings or even birds, you know that we love the dodo bird. There's just something fun about saying the name of this one. It's one of those quirky animals that we wish we would have been around to see roaming the earth. Of course, it was humans who named this majestic animal, but even a feature of it described in history books seems to be something we would want to hang out around with. 
As sad as it may be that they don't exist anymore, we may not have a reason to be sad, because scientists want to bring them back. Is this even possible? Let's take a look and see what scientists are up to. Scientists do truly believe they can bring back the dodo from extinction. This all happened in the 17th century. They had gone extinct then, but had only been discovered a hundred years after that. The way that a scientist would be able to bring them back is because they have managed to discover and write up the key genetic information that makes up the bird. So they pretty much have the map for how to create them. Now they just have to recreate that dodo, and we can't wait until they do. Saber-toothed Tiger If you grew up in the 90s, you might be familiar with the show called The Power Rangers. And in Power Rangers, they all had these giant robots which resembled animals. One of those animals happened to be a saber-toothed tiger. And the reason for this iteration is that the saber-toothed tiger has always been revered as a fierce competitor in history. It's one of the deadliest animals that you could probably come across centuries ago. They roamed the earth like lions themselves. If only they could come back and we could get a glimpse of them in real life. Well, guess what? You know the theme of this list, scientists want to bring back the saber-toothed tiger. We're going to need a really big toothbrush for this one. You no longer have to imagine when it's saber-toothed tiger-like in real life, because scientists have mapped out the DNA of one for the first time. And because of this, it's a shadow line on how it used to live. Because having a razor-sharp set of teeth, they pretty much had a good daytime vision and displayed complex social behaviors. They also had genetic adaptations for strong bones, along with cardiovascular and respiratory systems. So, aside from being able to chew you apart, they could also chase after you pretty darn fast. Maybe it's not a good thing for them to be coming back after all. Irish Elk you see it online all the time. There are memes of animals that you don't realize how big they are in real life, like the moose. When you see a moose, oftentimes you think of an animal that's about the size of a deer. That's just how it's photographed, and this is because most of the time they're not photographed next to anything to give a good perspective on true size. But the truth of the matter is, animals like the moose are pretty darn big. They trump most human beings. Another animal that would probably be huge if it existed today is the Irish elk. Not many people know about the Irish elk, but we do. And it used to exist, but today is extinct. The only fun part about this here is that it might not be extinct for too long if scientists have their way. Because of cloning, this Irish elk could come back. Scientists are confident in that. The only problem is that cloning is kind of in its infancy. So bringing back the Irish elk may take some time, but because of the popularity and how it was once in the poem written by Seamus Haney, the motivation to bring this Irish elk, it's all there. And being that it's not a dangerous animal, we support it too. Tasmanian Tiger We've all heard of the Tasmanian Devil. It's been a popular cartoon character for decades. If you see it, you probably know what we're talking about. It's almost like a mascot at this point. A lot of people don't know that the Tasmanian Devil is a real animal. It's based on a real creature that we can go see in the wild today. Also, what people don't know is the fact that the Tasmanian Devil has a relative. Now, the relative is long gone and extinct, but it's still pretty cool to think about. We're talking about the Tasmanian Tiger. You heard us correctly. If you thought the Tasmanian Devil would do something, you haven't seen anything yet. The fascinating part about this Tasmanian Tiger is the fact that it might have even survived into the 21st century. It most likely went extinct in the late 1990s or even the early 2000s. Some people even believed it may still exist in remote parts of the world. There have been more than 1,200 records of sightings and physical evidence from 1910 up to 2019 that were collected and analyzed by scientists at the University of Tasmania. To think that there's an animal out there that we still don't know exists or not, it's pretty cool to think about. It almost sounds like a straight up novel. But now you know, if you ever come across one of these animals, let the scientists know about it. Permafrost Worms We've covered a lot of creatures on this list, and you can't blame us if we're still amazed by some of them. A lot of them are just so big and so scary that we couldn't imagine them walking the earth at any point in time and history. Especially that saber-toothed tiger. But not all creatures that once existed have giant bones that can go in museums today. Some creatures are pretty small that are extinct. They're also a little bit creepy if you ask us. So this brings us to the permafrost worms. 
You've probably never heard about them, and if you have, well, you're about to learn a lot more. Because permafrost worms are no joke. They are slithery creatures that make history books a little wormy. So what's going on with these worms is that they're allegedly being resurrected from the Russian permafrost. But there are plenty of skeptics out there who don't believe this. Because if these worms were discovered, then they would be around 50,000 years old. It would make the round worms the Earth's oldest living animals. So it's hard to tell whether or not this is true. But if it does prove true, then these worms would make history. Now that's pretty wormy. Quagga. We all look at zebras and think about them as horses. Colorful horses nonetheless. Those are the relatives that we probably closely associate them with when it comes to any animal kingdom. We don't think of a zebra and then think of an elephant. Maybe in terms of geological animals, yeah, we can relate them to those. But we will usually relate them mostly to horses. That's what they resemble anyway. It's far more believable that zebras are in the horse family rather than any other type. But did you know that zebras also have another relative? They're called quaggas. And we're about to make you familiar with them. When it comes to the quagga, it's said that the last remaining one died around 1883. But this is only an anecdotal account, because some believe that it survived into the 1930s. In any case, they're extinct, but scientists want them back. Now, usually when it comes to extinction, the loss is irreversible. However, when it comes to the quagga, there might be a way to bring it back. Because of its subspecies nature, scientists think that they have the genetic makeup and ability to pull from that genetic makeup to bring it back. Because now there's a breeding project that's been going on since 1987 that aims to reverse the quagga's extinction. It's been going on for a long time and we don't know whether or not it'll ever work. But if people have been working on it for over 30 years, then odds are something's gonna happen. And we can't wait until it does. Pyrenean Ibex Like we said before, not all creatures on our list have to be gigantic scary fossils today. There were plenty of animals back in the day, these creatures that existed which could fit in the palm of your hand. They were also pretty cute animals that look like they could be house pets today. Of course they're extinct, and they can't be kept as pets. But they might be coming back. You may have an extinct animal at your disposal if scientists have their way. Let's talk about the Pyrenean Ibex. It's a cute little animal that you probably want to take down a Manhattan street in your purse. Scientists are nowhere near this, but we're one step closer to that reality. This animal was a mountain goat that had bigger and larger horns than its cousins. During the summer months, these creatures lived on the rocky mountainsides and cliffs interspersed with scrub vegetation and small pines. When the winter hit, they would spend their time in the snow-free upland meadows. They lived off of herbs, forbs, grasses, and anything that a vegetarian would eat. Before they died off, scientists were able to collect skin cells from the ear of one of these creatures. They preserved them in liquid nitrogen. Then, using those cells, researchers attempted to clone the ibex in 2009. There were a few unsuccessful attempts, but eventually they were able to de-extinct this animal, making it one of the first de-extinctions in the world. Now that's historical. Auroch As we said before, extinct animals don't only have to be gigantic, they can come in all sorts of different sizes. They don't have to look like the typical animal that you would expect. So it goes without saying that when it comes to extinct animals being brought back to life, you should keep an open mind and not hold any assumptions because they'll probably be debunked. It's okay to assume sometimes, but not when it comes to science because every single day science finds a way to flip things on their head. And that's okay because it keeps things fun. It keeps you wanting more, and that's exactly what we're going to give you today. More extinct animals that are being brought back to life. This next one is called an auroch. The beast stands about 6 feet tall and weighs around 3,000 pounds. The horns are more than 4 to 5 feet from tip to tip. When the herbivores were alive, they were a pretty sight to behold. It's said that their strength and speed were extraordinary given their size. Fortunately for scientists, there's a lot of data on the animal allowing them to possibly recreate it and have it roaming the earth once again. There have been research projects that have fully sequenced the DNA of three aurochs to date. And thanks to the data that's been obtained from DNA testing, scientists now have a better understanding of the genetic variations in different regional populations of these animals. In layman's terms, we may see these animals very soon. Carolina Parakeet 
Moving on to cute animals that shouldn't be extinct anymore, we find ourselves observing the Carolina parakeet. Who knew that the Carolinas had their bird? It probably makes sense that not many people have heard about this extinct species because, after all, it's extinct. But that's okay, because scientists don't want it to be that way anymore. If they had their way, it would be back in action today. So what's the scoop on this Carolina parakeet? That's what we want to know, and that's what we're going to find out. Let's tell you all about it. We're sure that after this one, you're going to have an appreciation for birds, especially those that are extinct. It was a big extinction case that many people didn't understand, because this parakeet was on the brink of extinction in the mid-19th century, while it had a very healthy population. But it vanished suddenly, and now scientists are trying to figure out why. It was the winter of 1780, and the town in upstate New York named Shahari experienced the free concurrence. There were a bunch of rockets and green and red birds landing on a house, which of course were the parakeets. They darted away from the house after that, but it seemed to foreshadow their death and extinction. There are plenty of rumors as to why this happened from murder to natural phenomena. Until scientists figure it out, we won't know. But maybe one day someone will solve this mystery and bring the bird back from extinction. Huia. If you were a fan of the last one on our list, then you're probably a bird lover. This means that you're also grouped with a lot of other people who enjoy the species. After all, this is why birdwatching exists. For decades, maybe even centuries, people have been enthralled with birds. They've been used in lures, stories, and so much more. They're also a huge part of our everyday lives. You can't avoid them. You step outside of your house and we can pretty much guarantee that you're going to come across a bird at some point. That's what makes living on the planet an interesting thing. You get to coexist with all sorts of different species. That brings us to the next bird on our list. It's called the Huia. It's always made waves in the past, but now it's back in the news because scientists might bring it back. But you shouldn't be too surprised by that given our list. It's the theme after all. Now the funny thing about this species unlike the other ones on our list, it's that scientists don't know if it's worth bringing back or not. Sure, this bird has a beautiful singing voice and can sing beautiful melodies from the tree branches, but some scientists aren't sold on whether or not they should be brought back. This goes back to the moral dilemma of bringing back animals from extinction. Does it harm other nature? Throw a lot of religious groups who think just that. So this may be one of the animals that doesn't get brought back, but then again, anything's possible in the world of science. Beji River Dolphin So far we've covered a lot of land animals that once walked the earth, and this is because a lot of those are extinct. It's almost scary to think about extinction because what if humans ever went extinct? That would be a terrible thing. But we're not, and land animals aren't the only things to have gone extinct. There are also animals from the sea that no longer exist, but scientists want to bring them back from the dead. Take for example the Beji River Dolphin. They say dolphins are the second smartest animals on Earth, second to humans. Well, we can't help but wonder about this breed of dolphin given that it existed so long ago. But let's take a look and see how it measures up to the dolphins that we know about today. It was an amateur expedition team that claimed they spotted this dolphin in a stretch of Asia's longest river. The Chinese conservationist believes that they may have caught a rare glimpse of the dolphin that had been declared functionally extinct almost a decade ago. This would debunk that claim. Now one can truly decipher whether or not they did. But if this becomes true, then there's one more animal in our oceans and one less that's extinct. Which is always an exciting thing, and dolphins are pretty cool animals too. So at least they're not dangerous. Passenger Pigeon And last but not least, we bring to you our final bird on this list. That's right, we're ending it with a bird. Because birds are one of the most prehistoric animals that are living today. Maybe lizards stock up on them, but birds still take the cake in terms of age. So just think about it this way. When you look up in the sky and see a flying bird, you're looking at history. You're looking at essentially your ancestors. And one of those ancestors happens to be the passenger pigeon, an extinct bird that might not be extinct for too long. We can't help but say that we wouldn't mind the bird staying extinct because we think there are already too many pigeons. But let's check it out anyway. The journey to bring back these pigeons began in 2012 when a group of researchers set out to de-extinct this bird. 
Sometimes it's believed the passenger pigeon isn't just the model species, but it could be one of the most important species for the future of conserving the woodland biodiversity of the eastern United States. Yes, that's a mouthful, and we don't quite understand it, but it does sound like these birds are important. And they're mainly important because when these birds existed, large flocks of them were a significant driver of forest disturbances for tens of thousands of years. So, it's all about learning about these animals and whether or not they should be brought back. Unlike a few other ones on this list, it sounds like the passenger pigeon affected nature in a way that's going to make bringing them back a little bit more complicated. But if they do come back, we'll be looking in the skies to say hello. If this list has proved anything today, it's that science is an amazing thing capable of doing even more amazing things. You would never think that animals would be brought back from the dead. You would never think that you would see woolly mammoths walking the earth. But it's safe to say that science fiction doesn't only have to be in books. It can come to real life and do things that we thought were impossible. Until next time, we'll be sure to bring you all of the latest incredible feats that science has to offer and so much more. And watch out for those pigeons. You never knew what dinosaurs they knew.